fourth species counterpoint. Rule number one, consonant and dissonant suspensions. Rule number two, the counterpoint begins with a half rest and a half note, most often tied, into the next measure. Fourth species rule number three, all suspensions must have a consonant preparation on beat three. Every suspension has three parts, a preparation on beat three, a suspension on beat one, and then a resolution on the next beat three. And that resolution also doubles as the preparation for the next suspension. In any kind of suspension, the preparation and the resolution must always be consonant with the cantus firmus. Rule number four, dissonant suspensions must resolve down by step. Rule number five, consonant suspensions may resolve up or down by step or consonant leap. So let's look at the examples here. In our first tie, the five is tied to a three, consonant five, consonant three. This is a consonant suspension, so this suspension resolves up by a consonant leap. The next suspension, however, is a dissonant suspension. There is a seven on the downbeat. In this case, the consonant six preparation is tied over to a dissonant seventh. Therefore, this seventh must resolve down by step to C. Dissonant suspensions are identified by their dissonant interval and consonant resolution. So here we talk about seven, six, four, three, nine, eight, and two, one suspensions. Seven, six, and four, three are considered good suspensions because they can have them in a series or a chain. As in here in measure eight, seven, six, measure nine, seven, six, measure 10, seven, six. Three, seven, six suspensions in a row. In measure three, we have a four, three dissonant suspension. This suspension was not tied over because if it were, G to G would require a downward resolution to F, which would put it lower than this G in the cantus firmus, creating an overlap. So seven, six, and four, three are good suspensions. You may have one nine, eight suspension, but never a series of them. And two, one suspensions are never allowed. Rule number eight, when the counterpoint is below, two, three, and nine, ten are considered good suspensions. Four, five is okay, but never in a chain, and seven, eight is never allowed. When the counterpoint is below, the descending resolution of the suspension creates an interval increase. So the intervals are 2, 3, and 9, 10, and 4, 5. So in measure 3, we have an example of a chain of 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, a second 2, 3, and then in measure 8, 3, 2, 3s, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. It should be noted that 2, 3, and 9, 10 are essentially the same suspension, just an octave apart. And again, never use a 7-8 suspension. Rule number nine, you may use up to three of the same good dissonant suspensions in a chain, but never chain 9-8 and 4-5. They must always appear one at a time. Four species, rule number 10. Because of the tendency of the counterpoint to constantly descend, it is sometimes necessary to break out of fourth species into second. In those situations, second species rules apply. 
In measure six, the B flat was not tied over because that would create a dissonant seventh, which would require a descending by step resolution to create a seven eight suspension, which is not allowed. So instead of tying the B flat, leap consonant leap down to the F, consonant octave leap up to begin a new chain of suspensions. In general, you should only break species once. Um, two or more times, the counterpoint looks more like second species than fourth. If that's you find yourself in that situation, you may need to find a different cantus. As a hint, cantuses that have descending lines work best for fourth species. So you can see here we have a leap up, descending three notes, descending two notes, descending five notes. In fourth species, in order to end with a dissonant suspension, you must end 3-2-1 in the cantus as opposed to just 2-1. Rule number 11, the single consonant high point requirement is suspended in fourth species. You may have a dissonant high point or a doubled high point in the counterpoint. The cantus must still have a single consonant high point, but the counterpoint is removed from that requirement. Rule number 12, never tie into the last measure of the counterpoint.